But if you did have access to your phone, like even if it's three in the morning, why wouldn't you ring a friend? Why wouldn't you ring a colleague? I don't understand why you go right to the police. Simon the Board A-Ho here. Thank you for joining me as always. And today we're going to talk about what you probably shouldn't do in the gym. Although obviously your health and safety must come first. Because yes, a TikTok video has gone absolutely crazy of somebody getting stuck in a gym machine or a gym piece of equipment. And because they were hanging upside down as if they were Batman and it was like the middle of the night, it was 3 a.m. They had to ring 999 or 911 because it was in the States and the police had to come round. And oh dear lord, my ankles are burning. Are you uh, are you <sighs> Just the easiest, easiest Ready? rescue ever. There you go. Now look, that is super dangerous. You don't want to be upside down for a long period of time. And I know that if I was upside down in that kind of situation, I would probably freak out as well. But I don't understand. I suppose if you're... I don't get how she phoned the police. There's some other videos we're going to watch in a minute, so hopefully they will give us some more details to this. But if you did have access to your phone, like even if it's three in the morning, why wouldn't you ring a friend? Why wouldn't you ring a colleague? I don't understand why you go right to the police. But this gets more fun. Because I didn't actually find this on TikTok. I found it on an independent article, which start by saying, woman calls 911 after she gets stuck upside down on the gym equipment. This is so embarrassing. A late night gym girl had to call 911 after finding herself stuck upside down on an inversion table. Let me know what an inversion table is. I mean, one of those. I don't know what you use it for. Probably for this. A woman had to place an embarrassing 911 phone call after she got herself stuck upside down while using an inversion table. On the 29th of August, so a couple of days ago, Ohio native Christine Falls shared a video to TikTok of herself working out at the gym at 3am. The viral clip, it's dumb gangbusters. So she's actually won this. She's seen using an inversion table, which suspends the body upside down to help stretch the spine and relieve back pain. There we go. Thank you very much, Independent. Soon after, Falls realizes that her ankles are locked into the machine and she's stuck upside down. Fault is heard calling for another man at the gym named Jason who was working out in the free weight room but he couldn't hear her yelling over the loud music. I have a story like this. After trying for several minutes to free herself, Falls has left with only one other option. She had to call 911. Why didn't she have Jason's number? I don't get this. It seems a bit like a, a ruse to me. Although I do have a story like this. I was doing leg presses in a gym in Croydon and the music was so loud the machine broke, right? So the, the handle that you use in order to sort of, you know, put it back on its hinges or whatever so it doesn't crush you it wouldn't go back on. So I had about, what, 250 kilograms on there. And I'm just holding it and my legs are starting to shake because I've already done my set and I'm going, help me, help me. And nobody heard. Until eventually somebody looked over and I was like, would you come over here? And they had to hold it up while I got out. But I genuinely worried that I was going to be squished. But it's quite funny. And then apparently this is the phone call, which I think we have a video as well. Let's, let's play the video first. Hi, um, I couldn't, I couldn't hear you. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Um, I am in Berea. Sorry, I'm on my watch. Um, I, there's only like one other person at the gym and I got stuck in this, you know, the, that back, backboard thing that like flips back? Uh, thank you. <sighs> Hey, Jason! Uh, can you, uh, can you say that again? I'm sorry. I'm talking for my watch. Yes, so I, I wish there was more people at the gym right now, but, um, I got, I'm stuck in this reverse, like, back decompression thing. Not like, I don't know, it's, I just can't get anyone's attention at the gym at Powerhouse Gym in Berea. And I think the thing went too far and I'm just stuck upside down and I cannot get myself upside right side up. And I just can't, I can't get it back up. I'm trying to get my buddy's attention, but he's in the other room lifting. And this, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's in the turf room. I know as soon as they get here, someone's gonna walk in the back room and be able to help me out. But I'm just, I'm sorry, like, I'm just stuck. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. All right, bye. 
So I actually feel quite sorry for her after watching that. It's quite clear she doesn't want to do this. But <laughs> she feel like there's no choice. And let's just watch the video now and get it done. I mean, that is like when you flush the toilet and the water starts coming up, right? <laughs> when you realize like, oh man, I'm in a lot of trouble. Anyway, hi, I couldn't look up the non-emergency number. So she does have a point. Although why there wasn't other people she could phone, I don't know. There's only one other person in the gym and I got stuck in this. You know, that backboard thing that flips back. She told the emergency dispatcher. I wish there was more people in the gym. Wish. Imagine that genie comes down, you've got three wishes. Well, unfortunately, I have to waste the first one on the fact that I need more people in this gym. No one has ever wished for that. Anybody, everybody wants less, um, uh, less people in the gym. Right now, but I'm stuck in this reverse back decompression thing. I don't know. I just can't get anyone's attention. <laughs> I'm stuck upside down and I can't get myself back up. And then she says, this is so embarrassing. I'm sorry, I'm just stuck, which is fair. Don't you ring the fire department when you're stuck? I suppose that is 911 as well, but the cops are the people that turned up. Another clip she filmed a police officer coming to her rescue. Uh, my ankles are burning, just the easiest rescue ever, which it was. Following the incidents, which lasted a total of 12 minutes, Falls shared with her followers, followers that her head felt mild fuzziness a day later. Well, it probably would if you're going to be upside down for that long. After it was posted, Fawlty's Jim Fell video instantly went viral, which is why my eyebrow does go up, because you never know. With more than 7 million views, flub me, thousands of people took to the comment section to share their hilarious reactions. I bet none of these are hilarious. It's only embarrassing if you have to make the call more than once. Nope, not hilarious. Why didn't you just turn the word upside down? Easy fix. Not hilarious. Nah, see, I'd just die there before I called 911. 911, I should say. That's just dark. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I don't exercise. Well, that just don't get in a machine that turns upside down, you buffoon. You'll be absolutely fine. Surprisingly, the same situation has also happened to a few others who shared their upside down experiences with this table. It almost happened to me, but I panicked and shook side to side and knocked the whole thing to get over. I was stuck in my mum's garage until they came home from work like 16 years ago. That sounds like they were stuck there for 16 years. The garage door opens up and this is what they see. That is quite funny. The aversion table is supposed to have a safety strap tethered to prevent it from going completely up and down like this for this specific reason. So there you go. The amount of nonsense that is going on in the gyms. It just once again comes down to the fact, be careful. If you're going to get an inversion table, make sure somebody's around. Because at 3 a.m. in the morning, your ass doesn't want to be ringing the police. And the police absolutely don't want to be coming out to helping you. So it's a lose-lose. It's an absolutely a lose-lose situation. But I did read this and I did laugh because I'm a terrible person. And look, plenty of things have happened to me in the gym where I've been an idiot. I've been embarrassing. I've let egg fall on my face, obviously, figuratively speaking. But thankfully, I've never had to <laughs> ring the police. This is what I don't get. If I went to the gym at 3 a.m., somebody would know I was going to the gym at 3 a.m., I would assume, and I would just tell them. <laughs> Maybe she did try other people first. I mean, she says that she didn't. Maybe nobody else lives in that area. Maybe she only just moved to Ohio, and she was absolutely screwed. But this did indeed tickle me a lot. It made me laugh, so I thought, hey, why not do some fun for a Friday? Now make sure you have a lovely weekend. Unless you're watching this on Tuesday, then have a good Tuesday. Also, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell. Ding, ding. Notification crew massively appreciated. There'll be a gym. Or, no, there'll be a video. There'll be a gym on the screen. There'll be a video on the screen. Please do click it. Don't have to watch it. Just click it. That's all you YouTube cares about, leave a comment below. Otherwise, grillamind.com for us Simon, just because I get 10% off. I like these supplements. I think they're great. Add Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter if you want to send me things like this on Cameo, patreon.com for us at Simon316 for exclusive videos and other such nonsense. Otherwise, that's it. I'm checking out. You take care. Goodbye.